Hey there, Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stroman. And this is Home Wizards. Yes, what? Is. What is this? Well, this is a show where we love to help you improve your home and improve your life no matter where you live. And, uh, you know, if you had a Christmas tree, a fresh cut Christmas tree, it's that time where, you know, you're thinking, gosh, it's almost the life of the tree. I mean, it, it gave don't, and it loved. Don't sound sad. It'll have a, a new time. It'll next have a new year. time, but it'll have a new time actually now. And we th- I thought we'd talk about some really sweet things that you can do beyond curb pickup in terms of recycling and re, re-giving, re-loving your tree. Your yeah, you don't have tree. to just have it sit there and, because that and really get is, thrown away. It is depressing to me as you drive along the streets of the different residents, you know, and you see in your neighborhood tree after tree just sitting there by the garbage can. Yeah, it makes me it, sad. it's kind of so much effort to bring this thing that's so short-lived. You yeah. know, it's like a, fe- it's, it's a quick life, a mercurial uh, existence done. But in it, and, and out. And but what do we do to prolong And all those that? years it, that it took to grow the tree. It took a long time. To get it gets two here. glorious weeks and then it's done. Yeah. I don't well, like it. so here's the thing. If yeah. you have a yard, uh, you can turn this into a windbreak for the birds or even for you. So the idea is you would not put it out by the, the recycling trash can on curbside. Oh, no. No. You're going to now take this tree, you take all the ornaments off, you do what we talked about in terms of putting a blanket or a sheet over it so the needles aren't going to all over your house but then you take it outside and now you're going to turn it into a nice little haven uh and maybe even a a feeding station for birds well you know birds they love the the dead trees because it's it's a perch yet they're up and away from predators and they can see everything around them and they have a nice place to hang out nice little place exactly it's like a little it's a man cave (laughs) it's kind of a bird it's It's like a a finch man cave (laughs) Oh, man. They got a big screen TV in yeah, there. They've they got, got it all. They got man. it all. But they but don't and word on the street is, you know, you can't get in there unless you're part of the birds. Yeah, you gotta go to the you gotta get past the door, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> a, a crow or yes. something. Yes. Um but anyway, uh, this also could be just a windbreak just for you. Let's say that you live in an area and you have this deck and certain times of the year it gets really windy just by by that back door, right? Right. And you can put it in an area where it's not going to look messy and it's going to kind of cut the wind. How's that? I mean, you're going I to... like it as long as it's not just a way to avoid getting rid of the tree. No, 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 no. See, if it's no. just sitting out there and there's like nine of them. No, we're not going to do that. And, and it's some guy, you know, a husband guy who's just sort of like, yeah, I'm going to use it as a windbreak. And then it's just like 27 <laughs> trees out there. <laughs> you know, this is part of uh, the Palm Springs area where they use old tires. They oh. recycle the tires to keep the sand from blowing onto the highway. Is that what they do, really? Yeah, and so, but when That's you look attractive. at it, it's <laughs> not a good look. Uh, but I mean, it's genius, and they're yeah. recycling all those those car tires and truck tires, right? And it keeps the sand from getting on the highway. And it, and it gives you those heat, nice heat waves in the summer when yes. the rubber, the black rubber, is absorbing yes. all the heat. That, uh, I don't no, like we it. don't like that we look. Do something else. But here's something else you can do. Let's say again that you have an area, you have a, a backyard. This can become a snack bar, not only a hiding place, but you can even, those pine cones of yours, you can tie, tie some of the pine cones and even smear them with peanut butter every day and or so- put suet cakes on because your mother-in-law, the birder, mm-hmm. she'll help you with the suet cakes, tie them onto the old tree, and then just put it in the back, and now it becomes a place to not only keep them warm, but it'll be like a little buffet for them in the cold. Okay. Do you like that? I, You're I like not it. buying I, it. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I've got the ability right now to make a suet cake with my mother. No, you don't have to make it. No, you can buy the suet cake. I can't do cake. it. You I'm can sorry. buy the suet cake. But I, I got to saying... take her to the market three times a day as it is. I'm not going to make suet cakes okay. with her. No, well, you can buy them. Buy okay. them at all the right. at the, at the uh, garden center. Really easy. Suddenly, I got all nervous and sweaty, no, just thinking you, I got to do one more thing. No, 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 no. But it's going to be so sweet because I know you love those birds, right? I do, I, especially since you turned me onto the finch. The, the finch thing. By the way, they're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back soon. <laughs> I'm put that seed out. I'm going to buy ten hundred dollars yes. worth of seed, and they'll be gone next good, week. Good, good, good. Yeah. All right. So more things you can do with your Christmas tree beyond yeah. the curbside pickup, which is so sad. But you know, you can put it in the woods. I mean, if you don't have property. You can now, uh, it's valuable for wildlife no matter where you are, and you could find a place and drop it off in the woods. Never in the history of the world has there been a better excuse and rationalization for putting a dead tree in my pickup and driving real fast 
past a nature area and just literally throwing it out the back of the truck. <laughs> but, I mean, put it gingerly in a place so it yeah, looks. Yeah. yeah, But isn't that neat? That's pretty good. Yeah. But I don't know how how would the folks in the in the arboretums or the nature conservancies feel about you just dumping your well, tree Well, you in wouldn't. The woods. You probably would have to call them. But, I mean, I'm, say- I'm saying that there might be some off-the-highway areas where it's just real wild. It's not like a nature, you know what I mean? It's not like a controlled uh, visitation center. Right, right. Yeah. I, I, that's a, that's a yeah, good idea. Yeah. Um, and by the way, eventually it will decompose and become part of the soil again. And how's that for Lion King? Can you feel the love tonight? See, doesn't that make you feel full circle? Yes, it love. does. <laughs> and it makes your toes wiggle. I can it see. Does. You can see it happening. It's happy. You're happy and friendly. How about this? You can also block <laughs> soil erosion. Oh, that's good. Okay, so if you have like maybe a creek or a stream bank or a hillside area. Or a crick, as or my a crick. cousin used to call it. A crick. You can put that old Christmas tree and now see it still being loved. You can and make your giving. own homemade beaver dam. You could. You know. <laughs> and now it's going to prevent the soil from running into the water during a heavy rainfall, okay. right? Lodges that tree against maybe living trees and brace it with what? Uh, a stake? Yeah, you could do that. And some rocks? Sure. You know? Yeah, I think that's some kind you're of You're shoring up an area, aren't we you? We are. See? This is how how, how right, giving are we? See, we're, we're much more things than I thought. Okay, let's continue. And then how about this? You can yeah. put that, that Christmas tree yeah. in the shrub and flower bed. Now, if you have shrubs that are especially vulnerable, uh, like to the winter, you can you basically can put the tree on a windy side to save your trees and your, uh, your, your flower bed, I should say, and shrubs from, from the really cold, harsh winds and such. That's kind of good. And then the needles that are on the tree will start to fall into the soil in the springtime before you then, then you can remove the tree officially and then it'll contribute to the oh, mulch. To the part of the mulching. So it's going to give it all more of the nutrients. And don't worry, if you're making the soil too acidic, it would take many inches of pine needles uh, over a really long time to to change the soil p- pH. That's kind of good. Yeah. Now, now listen, you need to go to the website, people, and print this out if you can. Yeah. This is for all the husbands who just simply say, I'm just going to throw the tree in the backyard, okay, and we'll get rid of it. In the sp- <laughs> this is your proof as to the things that are possible. See? Yes. See? And, and they're positive things. I'm loving this. Now, if you also want to maybe make it a little tidier, you can cut off branches. Now, this is what I do. This is what you do? Let me tell you what okay, I do. Tell okay, me. so I have a sawzall or, or a, a reciprocating saw. This is a great excuse to use that new Christmas gift and go out there and just cut that thing up into little pieces. And you can literally get a huge Christmas tree in one recycling container mm-hmm. if you just cut the branches off and you go, you know, you start at the right. At the, the furthest point from the trunk out, and you cut in like six or eight inch sections. There you, you just go. Just make little, and then that can be firewood if it's cut small enough and it's dry enough, or it can all go right into the garbage can. Done. Or you can put it again over certain shrubs and perennials. Yes, you can. One of the reasons hydrangeas, those beautiful little yeah. tufts like cotton candy of flowers, I love those. don't bloom is that uh, the first buds are killed in the winter, and so by covering the hydrangeas with the tree boughs, done done it's kind of a you're you're giving them nutrients you're protecting them it's it's great you can also use the christmas tree as props like staking the tree upright in the soil and then and then it's a support for climbing uh, almost like a, a trellis if you will oh okay yeah and then you have little dry dried branches and you can turn that and cover it over with, with some of the vines right oh, i like that and of course composting if you have, if you're now into composting the larger branches can form the base of a new compost pile that's true you can grind it into mulch. Yeah, if you have a grinder, boy, that's a good thing. Yeah. And then the fallback position for a lot of people, again, is to put the tree on the street. You know? Goodbye. Just, there you go. Those Don't are be the sad, ideas. Though. Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards. Why?